Welcome to tutorial number 26 and in this tutorial I'm going to cover the rib tool. We already covered all this tool and now we reach the rib tool. So now I have this part from the previous tutorial. So now let's start to find a place where we're going to draw our rib or support to this part. So now let's have a look to the planes here. I have the nearest plane is the right plane but is not passing through the middle of this part where I am going to draw my rib so let's insert a reference plane that passing through the middle this part let's choose the right plane as a reference now we can adjust the place of this plane. Now we have this plane passing through the middle of this part. So let's OK. Insert a sketch on that plane. Normal too. And here can draw the rib okay so let's go to the feature and activate the rib tool so now we have the rib here we have to adjust its direction to be inside and we can have it either from one side or other side or from both sides and here we have the dimension we want I made 15 and here we have the direction of the rib so now let's press OK so now we have Drip here, so we can make it one more time in a different place. So, so let's make a gap in this. part so 25 so I want to make a rib that support this shape now let's find a place where we going to to draw the rib. So I think the top plane will be good place so let's insert a sketch there. Let's draw a line. Okay. Wait feature rib. So now we have a rib you can change its direction okay so now we have a rib supporting this bottom so the rib can also be drawn and not only as a line can be drawn like a rectangle or something else but in this case I'm using the line as a rib so thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial